Hello everybody, it's me, Karee, KP, coming at you with a video journal entitled, I don't know what the title's going to be, but I'm coming to talk to you. Um, I was encouraged to start vlogging. Getting, getting my thoughts and opinions and inspirations and testimonies and all that good stuff out to you guys. So, here I am. Um, I guess today what I want to talk about is overcoming self-doubt. For me, I'm dealing with... Uh, insecurities and self-doubts and um, inadequacies I struggled through that a lot in my own mind so um, I'm about to do my first Bible study in a church that's not my home church with adults because I did Bible study for children for a number of years but yeah so I'm stepping out because God has called me to step out and I think that's the biggest thing when it comes to overcoming self doubt is when you know the voice of God and you can clearly hear what God is telling you to do you cannot do it, but it wouldn't be beneficial to your your life and it wouldn't be beneficial to the lives of other people who need you to do what God is asking you to do because you were created to do that. And when it comes to living your purpose, when it comes to walking in why you were created and why you were created to be here, that has the ability to overshadow and overcome and diminish the lies of the enemy and diminish the self-doubt that you go through. And for me, I've I've often questioned myself. And that's common. People do it all the time. But um and question and when you question and when you doubt yourself, you don't act. You you don't move. You don't do what you're supposed to do. And nobody nobody wins. No nobody wins. And so for me, I can't live like that anymore. I can't be that person anymore. There's too much in me and I know that. And I see that in other people. And the one thing that I see in other people is I see their greatness. I see their brilliance. I see their potential. And I don't want them to struggle and suffer and wrestle the same way that I had to. If there's any way that my life can be a, an example or if there's any way that somebody can not have to suffer or struggle but through seeing me and and hearing me and listening to me say what I need to say or say what what I've gone through then that's what it's all about I mean it's it's so many things out here in the in the world and in our society that stifle us on the exterior there is no reason why we should limit ourselves and we should we should stifle ourselves and we should um, prevent who we are from manifesting to the glory of God. So I say all that to say self-doubt is real, but it doesn't have to be your story. You can you can you can overcome it if you desire to if you desire to if you ask God to step in and intercede 
on your behalf. Be, and also be around people that encourage you to be your better self. That is a major thing to overcome in self-doubt. Getting around people who are positive and are promoting and want you to succeed and want you to be and, and wants you to be great. The negative, the negative environment. You don't need, you don't need the negative environment. Be great.